I, okay, my first dream was to be a horse because... Mine was a cat! Really? Yeah! I was... mm. Hey guys, so on this week on the Beige Beige channel, I wanted to address a real top situation because at our age... I'm glad I'm not in this video. <laughs> our real talk situation because at our age... It's really stressful. One of the things is to think about what you want to do with your life because there's so many things you can do. And there's so many years ahead of you until you retire and then you die, so. I want to retire now. <laughs> just, yeah. It's just a really sad conundrum if you think about it. So I created this video to share with you some ways that I have tried to pinpoint what my next step should be because I really don't think anyone knows exactly 100% what they want to do with the rest of their lives. I think we're all just trying to figure it out. Even if you're like 40 or 60 or 80, you're just going to be trying to figure it out forever. So here's some ways that I kind of narrow my thoughts and get started on life decisions that are huge, like jobs and grad school and just things. So first thing I do is I journal. <laughs> It sounds really cheesy, but like you kind of need to know what your interests are. You could just make lists. You could write down what your interests are, what types of companies you want to work for, what values you stand for, and like things that make you excited, things that make you don't like not feel tired when you do them. You know? Those are things you should pay attention to because obviously you like them for a reason. Um, so once you figure out like, it can even be really broad categories like I like working in teams or I like working alone <laughs> you know just kind of categorize yourself in the work world once you realize that you can kind of the second thing you can do is to look into what you liked as a child because I seriously think like I always have believed this and as a kid you don't know exactly what is out there for you so you just have interests and you have like natural inclinations towards certain things my little brother who's now studying computer engineering has always liked, he always liked Legos, but like the type that you have to like make them do something, like like almost like create a process with it, and now as a computer engineer, he's basically doing the same thing. What and did so, you like? <laughs> Food. I, <laughs> but my first dreams were more like along the lines of either wanting to perform in some type of way or wanting to... Um, yeah, I just really like to be in front of people, and I get to do that a lot still, and that's why I kind of like public speaking, and so I would want to have that, and that would be one of my little list items to have down. But I would really go back to what you liked as a kid. Okay, so after you make your list of things you're interested in, and things that you value, and then you go back to what you liked as a kid, if you if you really can't make that first list, I think that works. Um, the third thing you should do is figure out, like, if that helps you narrow it down, get on LinkedIn and just literally type in keywords. I hate LinkedIn. You don't? Like I don't like it, using it. But it helps. Because I lost my login a long time ago. It helps a lot because you can type in keywords. Like, one of my keywords is international because I really like working with people from other countries, even if I'm not in another country. So I typed in international on LinkedIn and so many companies popped up. You can kind of just look at what you're... You can do that on indeed.com as well. Yeah, any yeah. website really. Just kind of get on there and get a feel for if you were to actually pursue this career, what would you be doing? What kind of companies would you be working for? Do you like that? If so, that might be like the category for you. And after that is when I would say you could consider grad school because grad school is like, is a lot of money, it's a lot of time. And if you see all those job descriptions and you see that most of them, like 60 to 80% of them need you to have a master's degree to move forward at any point in your career, you should probably go. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> so I hope that helps and I hope that those steps can lead you to where you think you should go. Having your best panic attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and a really good book if you need more help soul searching is called uh, Designing Your Life. And the subtitle is How to Build a Well-Lived, Joyful Life, and it's by Bill Burnett and Dave Evans. And they're um, professors at Stanford who actually have studied, like, the art of figuring out what you want to do. So 
they have some good suggestions. It's, it's suggestions I wouldn't have been able to think of on my own, so I actually liked the book. I thought it was just going to be one of those books that makes money of telling you things that you could find out. But they have really good exercises in there that would probably help you. So check that out. Subscribe. Subscribe, hit the like button. Visit our Patreon page. below about things that helped you make big life decisions. And... Patreon. Oh, donate to our Patreon page. Or just visit it. Or just visit the page. Just do whatever you want to <laughs> do. And have a great rest of your life this week. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> mm -hmm.